Hey everybody, what's up? So today we're going to be taking a closer look at my LG ultra wide monitor and see if it's the best budget monitor for your M1 Mac mini setup. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So this is the latest 29 inch model. It's the LG 29WN600-W. It's a 75Hz refresh rate ultra wide IPS display with HDR10. It also has AMD FreeSync and the aspect ratio is 21 by 9. This monitor goes for around $226 on Amazon. Sometimes they have it on sale and you can get it even cheaper. I will leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. So I've been using this monitor for more than a month now since I got my M1 Mac Mini and replaced my 2013 iMac setup. Man that computer was very slow. So I also have a video on my channel with my new setup so if you want to see it go check it out. The resolution of this monitor is 2560 by 1080. The brightness and colors are very good for the price but let's be realistic. Don't expect it to look like a 4K display or even Apple 6K Pro Display XDR even though that display starts at around $5,000. For that kind of money, you could buy a bunch of these ultra wide monitors. But hopefully one day I can get one of those Pro Display XDR and see if it's worth the money. Do you guys think it's worth the money? Drop a comment and let me know. There's also 7 different picture modes for you to choose from or you can customize your own. I have mine set to vivid and occasionally on HDR. The different menus on the monitor are easy to navigate. There's a little thing under here that you can move in the direction you want and then just press it to select it. Pretty easy stuff. But there's no compatible apps as yet for you to control the menus from your Mac. On the back of the monitor there's a display port which is what I use to connect the monitor to my M1 Mac mini. You have two HDMI ports, a headphone jack and a power port. I personally wish there was a USB-C port or even regular USB ports on the monitor but I guess LG wants to save those features for the higher price monitors. The overall design looks very good. I like the thin sides and the slide slope on the back that has this large LG logo. Pretty nice. The display also has an anti-glare coating so there's little to no reflection in it which is pretty cool. Definitely a big plus. And with the slim bezels it just looks like all screen. Just look at it. The monitor also has two built in 7 watt speakers with max audio. Here's what they sound like. Hey everybody what's up. So today we're going to be checking out Amazon's cloud game streaming service called Luna. I got early access to the service so I'm going to test it out on my M1 Mac mini and see how it performs. This is their Luna controller that you can buy separately or you can use your own Bluetooth controller. The major benefit of using the Luna controller is that it uses cloud direct technology to connect directly to Amazon servers. So there should be So what do you think? How do they sound? For me personally, having an ultra wide display just makes multitasking way easier. It's perfect for watching videos on one side and browsing around on the next or whatever your workflow might be like so you can use multiple apps side by side. Now it's going to be hard for me to ever go back to a 16x9 display. In the future I might even get a bigger ultra wide display so stay tuned for that. If you're enjoying this video so far please give it a big thumbs up as that helps YouTube recommend my videos to more people. Here's a look at full screen browsing. It's just nice to sit back and browse the web on such a huge display. I'm really glad I decided to go with an ultra wide setup. Not only that, games also look great on it. Here's a look at me playing Grid on Amazon Luna for example. So if you have a gaming channel, all you need is a microphone and a webcam and you can stream your games online and read fans comments at the same time. So how does the game look? Comment down below and let me know. So if you edit a lot of videos, it's gonna feel a lot smoother because you can have a big preview of your video going 
while you're working on the timeline. So that's also something to take into consideration. So you can also tilt the display back and forth. The only drawback is that there is no height adjustment, but not a deal breaker for the price as you could always use a monitor riser or mount it to a monitor arm in which I think I'll be getting one soon. So overall for the price, I think it's a great budget monitor that's worth checking out, especially if you're on a budget or just in the market for an ultra wide display. Let me know what you think about this monitor in the comments and also what monitor you're using on your M1 Mac mini setup or Mac in general. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, comment down below and let's talk some more and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and peace out.